Victorum Gaming fans and Victory at Sea fans. We're back. we got another video for you guys today. We're going to cover the different orders so far that we have in the game. And basically the way orders work is whenever one of your ships is nominated to be activated, uh, you can choose to give it an order. Basically your captain of the ship will give it an order. And it's pretty simple to do that. You have to do that, um, decide that whether, uh, whether you're going to do that or not before you actually start moving. And um, some of those are basically gonna be automatic and then some you actually do have to make a check for it, which is called a crew quality check. And generally it's just a, rolling a D6 and getting a four up on that. So occasionally there'll be something that they call basically an opposed crew quality check, as they say here, where you're checking uh, basically a roll off with the opposing ship um, that might be affected. Uh, and then whoever rolls highest basically wins there. So uh, and you'll and you only get one order per ship per turn, um, unless otherwise stated via like some sort of special rule or something like that. But um, beyond that, it's pretty simple. So let's take a look at the actual orders for you guys. So uh, the first one, all hands on deck, it's a crew quality check. So you're going to roll Need to roll a four up on that. The captain orders the entire engineering section to alert. So during the end phase, uh, damage control may be attempted on all critical areas rather than just a single area. Additionally, the ship gains plus one to their damage control rolls. However, during the gunnery phase, every uh, attack the ship makes with each of its weapon systems suffers a minus one penalty. So pretty cool ability and definitely going to be used a lot because as you take damage and with the way that damage can spread, especially once criticals start uh, accruing, um, these will definitely, this will definitely be a necessary order there. And the fact that you can try uh, try that for all your areas and you gain a bonus to it is going to be very critical um, at the expense, of course, of um, doing well or potentially uh, doing well in the shooting phase. Uh, and that's just representing all the crew focusing on putting out the damage, fires, whatever, um, as opposed to purely focusing on the guns. So really cool ability, definitely going to use that a lot. Next one is come about, so another crew quality check, so pushing the ship's rudders to maximum deflection. The captain orders his ship to turn hard to gain a position of advantage, so during the move, uh, during its move, the ship can make a single uh, direction change of up to 90 degrees, but you can't make any other uh, changes to direction until next turn, so you basically... Rather than taking multiple turns, potentially, of 45 degrees or up to 45 degrees in a single turn, you just get one 90-degree turn at one point in your move. So can be pretty cool, especially for some dramatic uh, swerves to port or starboard. So um, definitely will uh, be more situational, but um, definitely still has its uses. Then we have the automatic ones. So basically you just nominate these and then they'll happen. So first one, create smoke. Burning excess oil, the ship begins to belch the clouds of smoke. Cloaking a large area. Place one smoke counter in contact uh, behind the ship for every full three inches the ship moves. No ship may draw a line through these counters and no attacks can be made through them at all. The smoke counters are removed at the end phase. So this one will definitely uh, see a lot of use as well when you're not putting out damage or turning or doing anything else. Um, being able to just, uh, at key points in the battle, block off uh, areas with uh, smoke is definitely going to play a part, especially with things like destroyers and so on and so forth. So um, that uh, will definitely um, be crucial and can um, make or break some turns, uh, depending on how that's used, too. And depending on what kind of terrain you might be playing with, uh, assuming you're not playing on just an open ocean, but even if you were, that would obviously create um, a little bit of a defensive barrier there, so really good stuff. Next one, evade. Turning hard at random intervals, the ship tries to throw an attacker off guard, causing weapons to miss simply by not being where it was predicted. All attacks made by a ship performing the evade order uh, suffer a minus one penalty to each of its weapon systems attack dice rolls, and the ship may not use torpedoes. Additionally, the ship's current flank speed is halved, round up, so one of the rare instances of rounding up in this game. However, all enemy attack dice which successfully hit the ship in this turn must be re-rolled. Destroyers are particularly good at the evade order. If their current flank speed before being halved is greater than 6, enemies retain the attack dice penalty for targeting a fast-moving target, um, regardless of how far they've actually moved. So um, definitely really good there for destroyers, and really um, useful, again, if you're going to be... If you know you're going to be facing a lot of incoming fire, um, it may just be better to try to evade as opposed to uh, trying to du duel it out or uh, brawl with uh, enemy ships, especially if you've already got a whole bunch of damage and criticals on you. So very good ability, and it's nice that that one is also automatic. Then, last couple here. Uh, flood the magazines. Uh, so it's a crew quality check again. 
In order, all commanders hope to never issue flooding magazines with water in order to extinguish fires is only done in the direst of circumstances. If the crew quality check is successful, critical scores of all locations are immediately reduced to a level where escalation is no longer present. Um, however, one random main gun weapon system is put out of action for the remainder of the battle and cannot be repaired. If no turrets are present, half the attack dice of all light guns rounding down. So, um, definitely something, again, that you shouldn't be doing lightly, but, um, if things are looking really bad for you on your criticals and, um, you know, even doing the, uh, like all hands on deck might not get you out of the jam, then, um, this is a, is a nice desperation maneuver, but... Uh, if you do have main turrets, again, one of them is randomly going to be knocked out. Um, it's not even a roll, it's just it, it will be knocked out. And if it's some, on something smaller, like a destroyer, for example, um, just straight up having the attack dice and all your light guns uh, is definitely going to limit your uh, damage output, uh, potentially, um, assuming uh, you didn't already use all your torps or anything. Um, but yeah, that's, that's definitely pretty rough. But on the other hand, the benefit there is uh, obviously pretty clear. And then last but not least, uh, for now, uh, scramble. So another crew quality check. With utter precision, precision, born from months of hard training, the deck crew worked turn around launching or landing aircraft in rapid succession. The carrier may launch or recover two flights in this turn. So again, specifically just for carriers, um, although um, I think that would also still interact with any of the planes that can launch, like recon planes and stuff like that. So um might not be exclusive to carriers, but certainly useful for carriers, being able to get more planes up in the air or bring them back in and refuel and rearm and whatever it might be. So um, definitely a good one to have there, having your bag of tricks, uh, mainly for the carriers. But um, we'll double check and see, like I said, if that works on any of the like cruisers and stuff that can launch planes, uh, like observer flights and stuff like that. So um, overall, pretty cool. So that is how orders work. And I'm sure we'll get more as the game grows, but um, yeah, uh, definitely a key component of uh, each ship's activation. And again, uh, you do have to make that decision, um, what you're going to do before um, before you start moving with it. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, give us a like if you could and a subscribe if you haven't already. And then stay tuned for more Victory at Seas content.